Let me show you how to create templates in Emus Web in this easy Emus Web tutorial, and more specifically, how to create a fibrosis for index calculator. Very briefly, templates are a great way to standardize practice in your clinical team. So what that basically means is to make sure everyone is asking the same questions or using the same codes and diaries in very specific clinical situations. So a great example of this is to create a combined oral contraceptive pill template to make sure all prescribers are asking about the same UK MEC contraindications like migraine with aura. And if you want to create a video about that, well, feel free to leave a comment below and I'll see what I can do for you. But today, for the abnormal LFT enthusiast among you, prepare for something truly awesome. So as always, start with the EMIS ball in the top left hand corner, go down to configuration and choose resource publisher. Now you want to make sure you're in the protocols and templates tab and you want to create a folder if you don't have one already. Now I have one here, it's called GP on the move, but if you need to create a folder, just click on your practice, the Gill medical practice, in my case, of course, right click, new, folder and just put in the name of your folder and click save. Go down to your folder and go to add template. Right, so this is the template. On the left-hand side, you have all these things that you can add into the template. So we're gonna do the Fibrosis 4 score Index Calculator. It's worth pointing out here that EMIS has a lot of their own templates like PHQ9 or the 6SIT, which are really useful. And to use a template, when you're in the consultation, just go up to Run Template and choose the template you want. So like the QRISC2, for instance. It loads up here and you can scroll down to the end to calculate the QRISC. Obviously, in this case, Tilly Tester already has cardiovascular disease, and so you can't calculate a QRISC. Okay, so we're in our folder. Go to add template. We're going to start with the clinical code. I'm just going to drag that on here. And the code that we use for abnormal liver function tests, liver function test abnormal. And I'm going to make sure that it comes up as a problem so that we can link it with the previous entries under liver function test abnormal. Click OK. This is where the fun bit starts. Let's go down to common components and let's find the custom calculation add that here. Okay, so basically you need to know what the formula is for the fibrosis score index. Hepatitis C online, FIB4 equals age times AST divided by platelets and the square root of ALT. So we have to somehow take that from this website into EMIS and I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. The first thing you need to do is add the expression parameters. So first we have to start with the age. Now in EMIS, the age is under concepts. Click on the magnifying glass here and then go down to EMIS library, EMIS library, registration details, and age. Now we have to name this and I'm going to just simply name it age. Click OK. Now you need to bear in mind that the age in EMIS <laughs> is actually in days. So to figure out how to convert days into years, I found another formula. So one day is this number in terms of years. So we're going to have to add that into the calculator. And now we need to add the AST level. At this point, it's really important that you get the exact concept ID. And to figure out how to copy and paste concept IDs, I showed you how to do that in this video. So just click on there and I'll give you the timestamp for it as well. But I know that the code for AST is this. There we go. Double click. And I'm going to call this AST. Right, next. So what we need is platelets. Same thing. Clinical code. I know the code for platelets and it's right here. And I'm going to call this platelets. The last one we need is the ALT. Now remember the concept ID is super important for this. And this is the concept ID. And I'm going to call this ALT. Right, so now we're going to start with the formula. This is the super geeky fun bit. <laughs> so just stick around. So open brackets, space, age. Right, okay, what you really need to do here is make sure that you actually click on the pop-up that comes up here. And this is multiplied by the conversion day to years. And this is multiplied by the ASD. Space, close brackets. Now you want to add the divide sign, open brackets. We need platelets here. And again, remember to click on that pop-up times. And now we need the square root. And again, click on the pop-up here of A. And that A needs to be the ALT. And again, let's click on that pop-up and close brackets. Now we're gonna add in a code here. So the fibrosis for index score. And let's add in something so that the person who is actually doing the score will know what to do with the results, so an interpretation. Right, so here we go. You can have a look at that interpretation in the description below if you just want to copy and paste it. In terms of the consultation section, we're going to make this a result. Click OK. Let's hope it actually works. So at this point, what I want to do is I want to add a diary entry. Now, if someone's FIB4 score is actually normal, we just want to repeat the whole process in three years' time. So go to Data Entry Components and Diary Entry. Now at this point, you need to make sure that you choose a code that your admin staff actually looks for. We have a code called Diagnostic Assessment and our admin staff looks for that. So I'm gonna add that code and I'm gonna click on this box here. So what that will let me do is that will let me specify exactly what we need to do in three years time. Right, so that's pretty easy and straightforward. And I click OK. 
This last bit is just a little thing. Rather than it coming up as new section one, what we can do is we can actually change the name so that it says Fib4 Calculator. There we go. All right, so now let's test it. Test template. So let's see what happens when we click Calculate. Brilliant, here we go. So her Fib4 score is 1.165. And I know here that if it's less than 1.3, and she's low risk, then I just need to repeat that in three years. So what I can do here is click on diagnostic assessment and then change it for in three years time. One, two, three. Brilliant. So what I could do at the very end is I can click on liver function test abnormal and that will add the problem code. Now, if she's had this problem before, it's important to click on first episode and change that to review. If not, you can leave it at first episode. Okay, so that's all done. What you want to do at this point is save and close. I'm going to go down to my folder, GP on the move, and let's call this Fib4. In the description, we could add Fibrosis4 Fib4 calculator and save. So the last thing you need to do is to make sure you activate it. Right click, status, activate. Are you sure you want to activate this item? Okay, so let's see how it works in real life. Tilly tester, let's add a consultation. Run template. You might have to search for it. Fib4. And there it is, Fib4. Double click. Here we go. So let's calculate her FIB4, 1.16. She needs a follow-up in three years. One, two, three. Brilliant. And then we're going to add the problem, liver function test abnormal, and save. And it's sorted. Right, that's it guys. I hope that was informative. I know this was a super geeky one this time, but I thought I would share that with you. And maybe one of you guys will take it upon yourself to create a QRISC3 calculator so that we could stop using QRISC2. Finally, if you did find that useful, give me a thumbs up and like this video, and you can also leave a comment below. If you'd like to see more videos like these, please subscribe, and you can also email me directly. Otherwise, good luck.